Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 89th installment of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. We've got some very interesting days of eating today, so be sure to stick around to the end to see them all. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. Break a 24-hour fast with your favorite fat. All right, this is Moop Dupe, the person who's been trying to lose weight using fast food. This is my OMAD. I'm it looks like they're not using fast food now, but instead using some pre-made frozen nuggets. Starting with 15 chicken nuggets. I paired... Okay, not the best thing to have for your one meal. It with a quarter cup of ketchup, which had less calories than I thought it would, so that was a bonus. Then I had three mini corn cobs for... <laughs> this is it. This is it, huh? 80 calories a piece. I forgot my butter, and here I am realizing that. Dude, corn on the cob without butter is nonsense. <laughs> Don't worry, um, I proceeded to melt exactly three tablespoons of- There you go. Yeah, you can't have corn on the cob without butter. Butter. I dipped my corn in it. It was- Oh my god. Okay, I think you went a little crazy with the butter there. It's absolutely freaking delicious. Ah! It's all just dripping out of your mouth. Stop eating it like that, please. And then I had some dolphin- All right, stop eating it like that. Quit being weird, man. No, I'm just kidding. I like it. Best thing that God has given me. And then I proceeded to drink the rest of the butter. <laughs> All right, we're going off the rails, fam. Because... Are you drinking butter? Was that your boyfriend? He's like, are you drinking butter? Is that the telltale sound of butter slurping that I hear in the other room? He hears her slurping. Hey, are you drinking butter in there? What? No, I was slurping on some other liquid. No, you weren't. I know the sound of butter slurping when I hear it. That was no other type of liquid. Your boyfriend is good. That's a pro. Or he just knows you too well. Yeah, well, I needed those three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? Of course I'm in here drinking butter, stupid. What do you think? Like I always do. 300 calories. Maybe I'm not addicted to McDonald's. Maybe I'm just addicted to butter. I... I don't know. I don't have enough time left on this earth to ponder that. I hope you do, though. Any All right, settle down. Anyway, here's what I did not eat. I did leave a small amount of the butter left to be... All right, so your TDE was 2,400, and you consumed 1,450. Therefore, you're in a deficit of 950. Okay, that's a pretty big deficit. Healthy, I don't want to turn into a little piggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, well, I don't think we have a whole lot of adding up to do here. Uh, you started the day off with 15 chicken nuggets, and you wrapped up the day with some corn and butter. The end. All right, after very little deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a... 3 out of 10. That one was really difficult to score because it was garbage food. It was just frozen, reheated nuggets, corn on the cob, and some butter. Technically, all the food groups were covered. You had a protein, a starch, and a veg. But the nuggets are processed, pre-made crap that you shouldn't be eating if you want to lose weight. Ditch the nuggets and just make some chicken, steak, or some pork. Next. Hello, here is what I eat in a day. We're traveling, so I had some nice hotel breakfast. Look at that blueberry muffin, some eggs and hash browns but then i recently stayed at a hotel and i ate some of their breakfast some of it's not too bad if you just stick to like the eggs and a little bit of hash brown or whatever but don't go to those muffins it's so soft and so moist and it will stay soft and moist for several days it's garbage the eggs had ham in it and they didn't tell me and i didn't like that Okay, we've got a little bit of a childish vibe going on here. For lunch, we had ramen, but I didn't put the chicken packet in. Instead, I put peanut sauce on. What the heck? You put peanut sauce on the ramen noodles? Okay. Dessert for lunch was homemade cake pops, and then I had some Cheez-Its. Dessert for lunch? Oh, okay. So we do have a dessert after every single meal. 
which was homemade cake pops, and that was a homemade cake pops. Okay, so it wasn't a, it was plural. It was a homemade cake pops, and was a homemade cake pops. Okay. And then I had some cheese its before we went to Parkville Market with ton of different restaurants. And so we just picked and choose which one we wanted. Start off with these shrimp empanadas. Woof, they were good. Happy. Okay, they must have been good. They made you start dancing. Start Took off with one these bite. shrimp empanadas. Started testifying. Okay. Woof, they were good. Happy dance. Then I did some crab rangoons. Oh, dude, get those away from me. I will eat an unlimited amount of crab rangoons. Very delish. I also took a bite of Ben's sushi roll. I'm not a big sushi person, but hey, I tried. Do you guys like crab rangoon? They're so delicious. Get it away from me forever. And then I had this pimento mac and cheese, which was very light on the pimento. I would there was more it was more like stofers and then we have these fun little french fries i don't those are fun i don't really eat much of that that is such a bizarre way to word french fries some fun little french fries i believe this is the same person who said that they had a little burrito from taco bell they have a very strange way of referring to food and the whole thing has like a very like childish vibe to it that's everything i ate in a day all right, that's everything that she ate today. Let's take a look at that one and add it up. All right, so you started the day off with a hotel breakfast, which wasn't too bad. You had some eggs, some hash browns, and a blueberry muffin, which I don't recommend. Instead of the blueberry muffin, I recommend a piece of fruit there. But you did get some protein in there, so that's good. And then later on, you had some ramen noodles, but you threw away the chicken seasoning and put peanut sauce on there. That's pretty wacky. I've never heard of that. And then after that, you had a homemade cake pop, plural. And after that, you had some Cheez-Its. And then later on in the evening, you went to some sort of restaurant and had some shrimp empanadas and crab rangoons, both of which were breaded and deep fried. After that, you had some pimento mac and cheese, which I've never heard of. I didn't know you could put pimentos in that. And then the final thing that you ate was some fun little French fries, which is good because my French fries are never fun. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. You're probably wondering why this one has a lower score than the first one. Um, there's a lot more nonsense. We got blueberry muffin, cake pops, ramen noodles with peanut sauce, deep fried shrimp empanadas, deep fried crab rangoons. There were a lot of deleterious things in this particular day, taking away some of your potential points. Next. This is what I eat in a day as a fat girl who went to go home to visit my vegan parents. Oh, this should be fun. So I'm Portuguese and meat was such a big part of my life. So the fact that my parents are vegan is a huge deal. Okay, when did they adopt this? But in typical Portuguese mom fashion, there was so much food waiting for me and my boyfriend when we got there. Yay, you busted out the broccoli and the carrots. Yay. There were home fries, vegan cheese, homemade hummus. A veggie spread. My dad also brought out some chestnuts. And of course, it is not a visit home without bringing out some of the nostalgia. We okay, so that's all you guys had? <laughs> some home fries, vegan cheese, hummus, veggie spread, and chestnuts. I know that there's some protein in hummus, but besides that, that's basically all carbs. Killed some time watching home movies. I was such a scared kid. It is so weird seeing myself as a child. After we did that, I ended up taking my boyfriend to a local mall to get him one thing and one thing alone, patting on a bun. I Patty on a bun. Grew up on these things, and they were my favorite. And it's like literally the simplest thing okay, in the world. What is it? It's a Jamaican patty on a soft bun with mayo and lettuce. Huh? A Jamaican patty on a soft bun with mayo and lettuce. What is a Jamaican patty? All right, I just looked up Jamaican patty, and the ones that I found were like an empanada type of thing. There was meat wrapped in some kind of dough. It's one of the best tasting things I've ever had in my entire life. When I used to get these as a kid, they were two dollars, and now they're like six dollars each. The cost of everything is getting ridiculous. And get over how expensive they are now. And then to top it off, I had Coke. Yeah. Okay. Ended up heading back home a couple hours later. And my- Whatever that is, does not look very appetizing. 
It looks like frogs drowning in chicken noodle soup. My mom, of course, had a feast waiting for us. It's spinach soup, which is just my- Ah, spinach soup, okay. Mother's version of called verde. We never ate pork growing up, so this recipe basically remains the same. Some Portuguese buns, stuffed potatoes, sauteed veggies. mushroom gravy, and some feijão, which is just beans if you're not Portuguese. Anyways, that was everything, and I'll see you next time. All right, let's take a look at that one and add it up. Okay, so you started the day off by going to your vegan parents' house and having some home fries, vegan cheese, hummus, veggie spread, and chestnuts. I'm proud of you for not disowning your parents the moment they told you they'd gone vegan. Very mature. The home fries are deep fried, so I don't recommend that. The vegan cheese is a bunch of processed carbs, so I don't recommend that. There's some protein in the hummus, so for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll consider that a proper protein source. Then later on, you had a Jamaican patty and a Coke. Jamaican me crazy with that soda. And then you wrapped up the evening by having some spinach soup, buns, potatoes, sauteed veggies, mushroom gravy, and beans. This was an insanely carby day. But I'm gonna give you credit for the hummus and consider that some sort of protein, as well as the Jamaican patty. All right, after much deliberation, I have come to a decision. I'm gonna give this one a three out of 10. It was very difficult to score all of these days today. <laughs> Were your parents always vegan? You said you grew up with traditional Portuguese food, which I'm guessing consisted of a lot of meat. That's always a tough conversation, huh? When your parents tell you that they're vegan. We have some very difficult news that we have to give you. Oh God, did Aunt Jen die? No, I knew it. No, unfortunately, it's worse. We've gone vegan. <laughs> Why? Why? Just kidding, vegans. You know I love you. Did you agree with my scores? Did you disagree? Leave a comment below. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Anyway... That about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.